In this video, we're going to look at the LM358 dual op amp again. We're going to make, this is the kit that I got it from, and the other op amps I have. I think I fried some of them though. I have them in baggies, but in any case, we're going to look at the LM358. So it's a dual op amp, and so there's an op amp on the left side, and there's an op amp on the right side of the integrated circuit right here. This works with low voltages and it works pretty well even with a single uh, power supply. You can use the split power supply or the single one. We can go down to 3 volts with the single or 1.5 volts positive 1.5 volt negative uh, split power supply. So this goes to 3.3 volts. We looked at that in the last video. and so. We're going to light an LED, just the basic uh, circuit for now, just to get familiar with the uh, component. And the LED blocks about 1.6 volts higher than that as the uh, current rises. And the output of the LM358 is about about a volt and a half in that range. I think it's 1.7 volts from the last video below the positive rail. It does go down to the negative rail though, but we can't raise it all the way to the positive rail. So we're just gonna stick with five volts. We're gonna protect the LED with a 220 ohm resistor. So it's a little more than we need, but we can always go higher. The zag value doesn't matter. And as long as it's enough to protect the LED, and to prevent it from overheating it's a quarter watt and so we won't get near a quarter watt so that goes to the negative rail the LED will light up when the output is high and so it's going to be about 3.2 volts or something so we're putting the line lead the anode to the output short lead the cathode to the row where the resistor is so now we want to make an inverting comparator so with the comparator we basically saturate the output either as low as it will go, zero volts in this case, or as high as it will go. We're using five volts, so probably 3.2 volts. And so we want to set our voltage now to the non-inverting pin right there because the one we'll be adjusting is the inverting pin. And so we'll get our inverted output. So we're gonna put a voltage divider here to get half of the power supply voltage. And now zooming back to get a better view, we have the non-inverting input. The inverting input is right between the non-inverting input and the uh, output. Of course, the wiring is the same there. Output, inverting input, or the uh, negative symbol of a schematic, and the uh, non-inverting input or positive uh, signal symbol on a schematic. So we have a trim pot here. It is an adjustable voltage so we're going to put that to an inverting to the inverting input up here pin number two and that's why it is an inverting comparator this is our signal we set this one with the two resistors our adjustable one is going to be uh, the trim pot there and so we're a little bit more negative than positive so we're below the halfway point of the power supply voltage anywhere along there the output is on as full as it can be we get about halfway you'll see all of a sudden it turns off and uh, that might be yeah that was just kind of the switch not making a wonderful connection all the time but you can see it turns off instantly and if I went real real slow maybe I could kind of fade it off, but uh, the main takeaway is we get above the halfway point and the LED suddenly turns off right there. And uh, it's that halfway point other than some uh, glitchy parts of the uh, trim pot. And that's kind of how it plugs into the board too. It, it kind of makes and breaks connections. I'm going to get the multimeter and we will actually take voltage measurements of this. So. As I said, we have 5 volts at the rail. We could go down to 3 volts with this being a single supply. And about 5 volts works good because, as I said, we don't get the full voltage of the rail to the output. 
there you can see we lost about 1.7 volts in that range and it looked like it was about the same voltage loss using a 3.3 volts so now we will go to our non-inverting input and see that we set halfway point from a 5 volts looks like we have a speck of loss but uh, for the most part it is 2.5 volts just a little bit less now we come over here so it's a little lower than our non-inverting voltage and uh, the output is high. We turn this up until the LED goes off. And there you can see it's above 24 or 2.45. So it's a higher voltage. So we have now all the way to the negative rail, zero volts right there. And so it's a comparator. The output is either high or low based on whether the inverting input is higher than the non-inverting input then the output will be high when the non-inverting input voltage is lower than the uh, inverting inputs voltage then the output will be low so the outputs gonna follow whether the non-inverting is higher or lower and in this case we are using a signal that goes to the inverting input and so the output is going to be the opposite of our signal whether it's higher or lower than the voltage that uh, we set so in any case pretty simple circuit hopefully that all made sense there's schematics and uh, online explanations that go into more detail on this stuff but I find these demonstration videos there's not many of them so uh, hopefully seeing these step-by-step -step builds and uh, just you know quick quick put together and hopefully my explanations make sense uh, at the time and uh, you enjoyed the video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.